Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Patrick. A few weeks ago, I made this one Reddit post right here detailing my stats and extracurriculars, but I still got a lot of questions, so that just gave me an excuse to make another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be addressing some questions that you guys had from my last video right here. Now, before I jump into the Q&A session, I really wanna thank all of you guys for the support on the last video, because I did not expect it to get as much attention as it did. So without any further ado, let's jump into the Q&A. Alright, so our first question comes from Ridu Sarav 5666 and they ask, can you make a video about what careers there are in biotech and what they do? As someone who is thinking about it, I have not been able to find information. Um, well, I guess before I say anything, I just want you to know I'm not an expert, um, but since I am doing something in related to biotech, what I'm thinking is either like a startup or doing research and development. Um, I know there are other careers like being a geneticist and I'm sure there's more resources, more qualified than I am to talk about what careers there are, but hopefully that gives you a sense. All right, our second question today comes from mystery roleplay 3807 interesting name, um, but they asked, just a quick question, do you write a different college essay for all the schools you apply to? That would kill me. Yeah, I guess the short answer is yes, you you kind of do, unless you're applying for like the UCs only, then um, you only have to write four different personal insight questions. Um, if you're applying to schools that work with the Common App, then you write a general personal statement. But most schools have different specific supplemental essays that you will have to write. Um, like you said, that, that is pretty intense. So I'd suggest starting over the summer with your essays, definitely with the personal statement and personal insight questions if you're interested in the UCs. Hopefully that was helpful. All right, the third question today comes from James No 1999 who says, wow, you applied to 25 plus colleges. That alone is a lot of work. It is. Uh, my kid just applied to five colleges, one reach, two match, and two safeties. He luckily got into his reach and went to Stanford. Well, congrats on Stanford. But yes, I did apply to 26 colleges, um, which were seven reach schools, uh, 10 target schools, and nine safeties. But I'd say a big thing that helped me was starting early in the summer, uh, like I said in the previous question. Yeah. Our fourth question today comes from Let's Go 1010 who says, Bro, I'm sadly not selected for Olympiad. Are there any chances for getting into any Ivy colleges? I guess, I'm sorry to hear that you're not selected, but I think um, if I were to give any general advice, um, colleges, I don't think are looking for any specific activities. It's more of you being genuine in your application and showing that you made the most out of the resources that you're given. And I guess that's all I can say, really say. Um, yeah, hopefully that helped. Our fifth question comes from Bradley Engel 1225, who says, are you from California? That would explain the amount of UC schools, Northern California resident here. Well, nice to meet a fellow Northern California resident. I'm from the Bay Area myself and yeah. So I applied to all UCs except for Merced and Riverside. Um, but yeah. Our next question comes from Robo Yug, who says, bro, what was your SAT score? Uh, if you wanna see my full stats, I'll have the other video linked in the description and you can find the stats there. Um, but I took the SAT three times in high school. The first was in sophomore year. I took it and got a 1510. Second time was in junior year and I got a 1500. And third time I took it in senior year, first semester, and I got 1540, which I sent to colleges. Um, as some more general advice, I'd say if you can, especially because a lot of schools are going test optional, um, these years coming out of COVID, maybe if you can spend the time that you would studying for the SAT, strengthening other parts of your application, um, that might be a consideration going forward. That's just my two cents. What the hell? Our question number seven comes from Weep Girl 858 
who says, can you please show us your essay? Um, I'm assuming you might be talking about the personal statement on my Common App. Now, while I'm not going to show you my entire essay, I'm happy to read the first paragraph or two. So I'll do that. So I wrote my essay about my interest in guitar and how it relates to me like exploring my limits and boundaries and exploring interests. Um, so get comfy because I'm going to read you the first few paragraphs. So power on, gain notch 8, volume notch 6, treble notch 6, bass notch 4. It's Sunday afternoon after a long orchestra rehearsal. With stacks of books glaring at me from the right side of my desk and a Fender Squire Stratocaster leaning on the left, I'm presented with a sharp dichotomy of how I could spend the rest of my weekend. The next thing I know, my guitar is latched over my shoulder, my chair reclines just enough so gravity keeps me from toppling over. Let's jam. My pick is laced to my thumb, left fingers in position on the fingerboard, and my right arm triumphantly mimics Usain Bolt's Olympic victory pose. Remembering that one smooth riff I saw on YouTube, my pick released a single chord, a chord of disaster. Even though, fortunately, no one hears the dying shriek of my guitar pleading for me to stop, I cringe. And yet, I still yearn to test different finger positions. I switch up my pick grip, experiment with how I can plant my feet, and I notice that with each attempt and each failure, the complex rift sounds a little smoother. That improvement, though marginal, sends a wave of electricity down my spine. So that's kind of the intro. Hopefully that was informative. All right, so the last two questions are kind of the same, so I'm just answer them both at once. And essentially they are, where did you decide to go? So to answer your question, drum roll please. I'll be attending John Hopkins in the fall. If you're also a rising DJ freshman, then feel free to reach out to me on my socials, link down below. If you have any other questions, I'm happy to assist. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.